Well, hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is The Dirt Church. Oh, I think I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last time. Oh, well. Have you ever been doing something in the middle of a project or whatever, and you thought, man, I just want to get to the good stuff? I'm working on a uh, on a house. We just bought a house, getting ready to move into it, doing some remodeling. And I tell you what, some people like the demolition. I hate demolition. I hate tearing stuff apart. I want to put stuff back together. I don't want to tear it apart. And and as it is, as I'm tearing stuff apart, I'm finding rot. I'm finding stuff that ants have torn apart. I'm finding stuff that I'm going to have to go deeper. And I was thinking to myself today. I just want to get to the good stuff. I want to get to putting things back together. I want to get to where I can remodel the, the house the way we want it. That's going to be fun. You know, maybe maybe for you it's a job. You know, maybe for you, 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 you go to school and you're thinking, I just want to get out of school. And Well, hi, Shiloh. I just want to get out of school and I want to get into the good stuff, you know, or... Or, uh, you know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's your walk with the Lord. And since this is the dirt church, we'll talk about that. It's your walk with the Lord. And you're saying, you know, all this, you know, here stuff is, hey, you like my jean shorts? Thanks, Kanan. I just want to get to the good stuff. You're not alone. Jesus' disciples, by the way, thanks, Kanan, for pointing that out. Now I can't think of anything else other than I've got jean shorts on. It takes a real man to wear jean shorts. Back to this. You made me lose my thought. The disciples wanted to get to the good stuff. There was actually a time Jesus is walking with the disciples and some people didn't want him in their town. And the disciples looked at Jesus and said, Hey, you want us to call down fire? Yeah, they were remembering that, that Elisha had called down fire on uh, some people and, and God destroyed them. And, and they're saying, you want us to call down fire? They wanted to get to the good stuff. They wanted to get to the, the power, the demonstration of power and so forth. And Jesus looked at them and said, Man, you, you don't even know what kind of spirit you are, what, what kind of spirit you have. No, I don't want you to call down fire. So there's this tension of wanting to get to the good stuff. Some of you are thinking, well, Come on, Brandon, get to the good stuff. Let's get this devotional going. Jesus told another story, and, and it's really, it's in, it's in Luke chapter 16, and it's about this manager. He was a shrewd manager, and his uh, boss found out that he wasn't very honest, and so he was going to fire him. And uh, as he got ready to fire him, this guy's thinking, ah, man, I'm too weak to, to do backbreaking work. I can't dig, and you know, I know what I'm going to do. And so he calls people in and he cut their bill. He, he cut it in half. He cut it way down. You know, take your bill and, and change the numbers on it and so forth. And, and when, the, when the boss found out about it, when the master found out about it, he actually congratulated him. He, he praised him. And, and uh, Jesus' point, he said, look, people of this world are more shrewd than believers are. But Jesus made this statement. He said, in fact, I'll read it to you so I get it. So I get it just right. And you've probably heard this in or out of context, but listen to what it says, starting in verse 10. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very much will also be dishonest with much. So if you've not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you? with true riches. See, here's the point. It's kind of like Jesus is saying, there's a test. You're going through a test. Now, if you can pass this test, if you can, if you can be trusted with the, with the little, if you can be trusted with the hard, if you can be trusted with the difficult stuff, then you can move forward to the good stuff. But if you can't be trusted with the little, if you can't be trusted with, with what you're having to start with, well, why in the world would you get to move up into anything better? So as a, as a believer, maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you've just begun your faith journey, or maybe you've been serving the Lord off and on for 20, 30, 40 years. Maybe, maybe you've served him faithfully. It hasn't been an off and on thing. And you're saying, hi, Tom. You're not saying, hi, Tom. I'm saying, hi, Tom. But you're saying, man, 
I just want to see some good stuff. I just want to, I just want to do something better. Listen to what the Lord's saying. Do what I've given you to do now. Deal with what I've given you to deal with now. Trust me in the difficult times. Trust me in the little times. Trust me in these times, and then I will give you more. But if you're not going to be faithful with the little bit you got now, don't go looking for bigger things. All right? God does want to bless you. God does want to use you. God does want you to get to the good stuff. Sometimes we got to go through the ugly before we get to the good. All right? That's all I got for tonight. Lord bless you. Have a great night. If you like this, share it. If you don't, well, whatever. Until next time, chew on that.